Good morning, so I'll say good morning. Um, all right, so injury update. So for today's practice, Javon Solomon will not practice, and then Dewan Smoot will not practice. Um, he's got a toe, so uh, we'll see where that leads us um, for the game here. With Dewan, uh, is that just something that popped up in practice? Uh, yeah. yeah. And then if you look at you know your depth chart there, how much faith do you have in a guy like Casey Tuhill that might have been you know fighting for a roster spot all summer, makes the team, and now potentially an opportunity? Yeah, I feel really excited for him, right? Um, he's worked hard. He, he dealt with the injury early in camp there, but he's worked himself back. Uh, our medical team's done a really good job with him, and he plays hard and, um, you know, a good pickup for us uh, from Washington there. So um, he's been a good addition to our team. And Sean, legal formation was a topic last night. How much was that emphasized by the officials when they visited training camp for you guys? Um, not as much then, I would say since then, uh, it's definitely been emphasized. So uh, it was interesting, you know, to to, what, to your point to um, watch it unfold last night and, you know, something we can learn from as well. What's it like getting ready for Kyler Murray, just getting the defense prepared for all he can do? Yeah, he's a tough, you know, he's a tough uh, player to defend because he's, he's two-dimensional every time the ball's in his hands, right? He can throw it, he certainly can run it. Um, design runs wise, but also scrambles, and, and so uh, it'll be a big challenge for us. How do you feel like Mitch is uh, Trubisky is trending uh, quarterback? Uh, you know, he he looked uh, like he's you know improving every day, and looked yesterday that way as well. And um, you know, we'll see how he does today, and um, we'll see what it is for game game time there. Coach, you've had Codrington under your eyeballs for about a week. Just your thoughts on you know. Getting to look at him on a daily basis here for the past weekend, right? Yeah, no, he's been he's been he's been a good addition. Um, um, you know, um, nice young man to talk to and looks you in the eye, and certainly um, professional at a young age. You know, he's a rookie, right? So um, some of what we saw on tape has uh, been verified in terms of just you know he seems very conscientious about his job and. And um, he's worked hard since he's gotten here, which is impressive, right? So coming into a new team, new situation as a rookie in particular uh, in the NFL, let alone being on his second team now. So uh, we're thankful to have him and excited to see him play this weekend. You're talking about making a point of getting extra time in there. Yeah, no, he um, has. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, that's what I think has been uh, partly impressive about him. One of the things is is that he's taken it upon himself to um, to set up the – the equipment guys to say, hey, I need some extra work in that stadium because of the wind and the way it blows and getting getting a better feel for that. So, um, you know, that's been that's been nice to see. Coach, as, as a coach in the NFL and someone who's a former athlete and around the best of the best every day, how do you watch someone like Jesse Pagula last night and analyze it from, from your perspective? Oh, man. Uh, we could be here for an hour, right, Maddie? Um, I would just say on a personal level, First of all, congratulations. That's um, just so, so great to see, right? And knowing the journey that uh, she's been on and uh, what her family has gone through and supporting her and then separately what they've gone through recently. And um, just so impressed from an athletic standpoint of her poise um, and her just grit and ability to stick to it. I mean, the two games I had a chance to watch, the, the recent two, um, I, I wasn't able to watch all of it. But um, when you're going against number one in the world, and, you know, she went up, uh, I think, 1-0 in the, after the first set. And then that second set, it starts to do this a little bit. And, and she didn't flinch. And then last night, again, got off to maybe not the start that she wanted. But, again, her ability to keep her poise and composure and, and show her resilient nature. And um, that's – Listen, we're going to need that as a team, right? And uh, we're going to face adversity, and that's part of what you what you need some of that some of that fabric and those ingredients. So, I'm um, just super impressed by her. What have you seen from Christian Benford this offseason, and how has he improved heading into year three? Um, yeah, an increased um, level of uh, consistency, uh, increased level of focus, increased level of. Um, you know, his habits, and not that they were uh, by any means or any measure uh, bad before, but just continual growth, evolution, maturity, 
um, understanding of what it takes to be really good at this level and, and, and the NFL and um, what it means to be and what it takes to be a great corner. Um, uh, he's always been wired that way, but just um, very impressed by his, his preparation this year. Yeah, um, also interesting to watch to watch that um, uh, unfold, right? It's always toughest, probably the biggest challenge to be the first ones out there, right? First ones to jump in the water. And, um, you know, I think you saw probably what I saw and not a lot of uh, opportunities given. Um, so uh, we'll see what uh, what and where and what direction that leads us this weekend, um, but wasn't surprised overall by, by their choices and their decisions. Big shot, two practices for Cole Bishop. Uh, does he look like he's kept up mentally from what he's done? Yeah, I mean, uh, the, the, the most important thing is he's getting healthier, right? So, so that's important, number one. And then um, I think the, really the biggest thing for him is, is to, and they run kind of parallel, is getting him out there and practice as much as we can and then getting his, him um, up to speed because he's missed so much time on, on what we do. So um, that's, that's probably the biggest challenge right now, but we're excited for him and, and what the future holds. If you could think back to the end of last season, the season that he had in year three, the conversations you had with him going into the offseason, what have you seen from that moment to when he's, what I've heard, been around a lot of the offseason and now getting ready to start a really important year four for him? What have you seen from him? With Greg Rousseau? Yeah. Yeah. Um, again, impressed. Um, you know, when you when when you talk about uh, being conscientious, being a pro, Greg is always he's always been about that, right? And 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 then watching it, um, um, you know, carry over to the to the practice field, and then taking it now from the practice field to the game field, um, that's really where we're at right now. And I'm excited for him. I think he's had a great off season and a great camp, and and he's primed um, to put his best foot forward this year. How has Connor McGovern grown into his role at center now? Yeah, leadership different this year than it was last year. I would say first, first and foremost, uh, you know, Mitch being here a year ago, and then, and now Connor uh, being in that position, yes, but also in more of a leadership role and um, a guy that we count on for that, for that direction daily, really. Um, and uh, excited for him, and and uh, he's re he's worked extremely hard. He carries a lot of influence, and and the guys look to him, and then he also. He looks to them as well. He's a great teammate and, um, you know, a big part of our offense. Right, thank, thank you, you.